is up YouTube, it's RS Mario here, back again for another episode of this channel's favorite show, Alright, so bringing you another episode of Fake Leak Theater. Uh, so, of course, uh, we got three leaks for you today. Uh, one, which is this weird kind of genie. This uh, Pokemon, this genie Pokemon, which I think looks pretty good. Uh, even though now that I look at it, it doesn't look quite like a Pokemon, but it still looks pretty good, though. We got another picture leak, uh, an older one that you might have seen before, but this is the first time I ran across it, so I went ahead and put it in. And then, of course, we have uh, the tried and true Reddit text dump that we usually get from time to time. Of course, if you want to continue getting videos like this, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all that stuff that YouTube requires you to do to continue getting videos from me, as well as follow me on Twitter at uh, twitter.com slash rsmario128 so you can get shouted out like a couple of people are at the end of every episode of Fake Leak Theater. All right, so let's get to it. The first one we got here is kind of, I think this one was an old one. I think I've seen this one before, um, but I did run across it on Twitter and I was like, okay, it's, uh, this one actually looks pretty cool, but it's pretty much fake since we have, um, you know, uh, this dude, we already got announced from the trailer. So, I mean, two electric mouse Pokemon in one region, I don't think they would do that. There's always one Pikachu clone. Um, so I think we got our Pikachu clone, but it does look cool. The art actually looks really good, which is the reason why I decided to include it, uh, in this episode, you know, more than likely it's, it's, it's electric normal type. The decision to go with grayish blue instead of yellow or red is actually pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool. I mean, cause lightning isn't always yellow. Sometimes lightning is blue in, in nature. Lightning is blue. So that works. All right, so the second one is the guy, the thumbnail guy, the main event, technically. Uh, so this one I, I ran across on Twitter from Incineroar. Uh, Incineroar is a big account that actually has a lot of like some of these weird, some of the weirder fake leaks. Um, and I, I run across, come from his account. You know, check him out on Twitter. He's pretty cool. But this one I thought looked really cool. Uh, it doesn't quite look like a Pokemon to me, though. Now that I'm just kind of looking at it like longer, you know what I'm saying? When I first saw it, I was like, okay, that looks cool. But now that I've kind of just kind of sat and looked at it for a minute, I'm like, it doesn't quite look like a Pokemon. But it's supposed to be a, a genie Pokemon. And now this kind of works because a lot of Spanish history, you have like, there are a lot of Muslim influences or Arab influences because, of course, you know, the, uh, the Muslim... Uh, empire or caliphates or whatnot ruled that area for 700 years so there was a lot of influence there culturally and whatnot so having a genie or a gin pokemon would kind of work now the other thing is we have genies all right we have like four of them if i'm not mistaken um they're all the, the flying genies and so this uh, a different genie would be kind of weird because this guy definitely wouldn't be in in the group of the other genies because he just doesn't look like it um but it does look cool though if this was a real pokemon i would say it would be rock fairy of course we have the tried and true 4chan text dump so all right this one uh it says uh, there are about 90 new pokemon which that's kind of a low number from what i've heard from a lot of other people but 90 is still not bad. So 90 new Pokemon, I can confirm that there are less than 100 in the overall decks. Uh, Nimona is two years older than you and more experienced than you. I bet she is. <laughs> um, about some Pokemon. So Drake and Zalt Fossils will get real form. Get wow, don't do that to me, man. <laughs> we'll get a real form, but we'll get real form along with a new fighting type ancient Pokemon called K Rex. Okay. Starters evolve starter evolves into a grass dark water fighting fire ghost. Same thing everybody else says. 
Brigatito is a, a witch. Uh, Quaxley is a musketeer, and Fuecoco is a Frankenstein. Okay, um, that's new. Why would Frankenstein? I mean, why would he be a Frankenstein? Like, I don't really. Okay, all right. Uh, there will be a new form of Celebi depending on your version. Uh, ancient form will be grass fighting. Advanced form will be electric and psychic. Why would he turn into an electric type? Well, I guess technology. Okay, I kind of see that. But uh, I can kind of see them doing something with Celebi. Because if they are going to be doing something with time traveling, right? You know, just traveling through time. Celebi is kind of like a, 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 a easy bet to be in the game in some capacity. I mean, because Celebi travels through time. All right, so I could definitely see them having a regional form of Celebi or having Celebi be involved in the story in some way. Uh, I, I, I could definitely see that happen. Um, gyms are pretty different in this region. They are built in both closed and open environments depending on the leader like the ground gym is built in a canyon now i think we've already seen the ground gym in the trailer that ground area with the with the weird tower and i think that's what they're going to do with the gyms now they're going to make it to a tower so you have to compete and then climb your way up the tower to get to the gym leader more than likely you know what i'm saying that could be just the ground gym or it could be all the gyms and it could be kind of like a like they have in the Ubisoft games where you have the Ubisoft tower, but the only difference is it's the gym. So you beat the gym in order to be able to fast travel to that city. You know what I'm saying? You know, beating the gym activates that Ubisoft tower, essentially. Let's see, a flower spirit Pokemon, Flupire. Okay, Flupire, Flu, Fairy Ghost. Wait a minute, if flu pyre, pyre means, pyre has to do with fire. A pyre is like a, a, a bonfire that, you know, you usually throw like people on, like for like sacrifice or whatever. So, I mean, why would he be just fairy ghost instead of being like fairy fire? But, okay. Uh, a regional ice variant of Kamala, the koala Pokemon, a mud-like regional variant of Ditto, that can change shape only, ground type, an ice fire, oh wait a minute, a ground type ditto that can transform into other Pokemon, but it's still, it's still ground type though. I mean, that's cool, but what's the point though? Cause then he doesn't change type. I guess it would be interesting though. I mean, to kind of do that, but he's, he's still gonna be a ground type. Uh, an ice flying star raptor. That would be kind of cool. Even though, I mean, I, I think Staraptor should be fighting and flying. Because giving it the ice typing is just going to just make it get completely destroyed by rock Pokemon. Like, it's going to get it's gonna get that daggone stealth rock and it's going to lose like a third of his health. Like, it's going to get wrecked by rock Pokemon. But, I mean, that, that would be cool though. A Staraptor regional? Okay. Uh, an extremely expensive new Pokeball type known as Dice Ball is introduced. One in six chance to catch a Pokemon despite catch rate. Why would you want to add more RNG? <laughs> Why would you want to add more RNG to catching Pokemon? I don't really understand this. I mean... So, okay, you got a one is I mean, I guess it gives you an improved chance. Like, instead of having it be like, oh, despite the catch rate, just say you have a one in six chance of catching a Pokemon that you, you know, throw this ball at. Okay, so this one's actually pretty interesting. Like, the, the Pokemon, the new Pokemon they're talking about are interesting. Um, the, the, um, like, so far, this one's pretty interesting. I think it's probably fake, though, more than likely. Because um, a lot of this are just repeating elements from other leaks, like the thing about the starters being grass dark, water fighting, and fire ghost. But I just wanted to, to I just thought everything else was interesting in it though. So, of course, um, that's about it for this one. We got to get to the shout outs real quick though. 
So, Automated Ronald, hopefully <laughs> not a Twitter bot, um, retweeted my uh, video tweet when I streamed the State of Play uh, the other day. And uh, I also played Overwatch, which I do. You know what I'm saying? He retweeted my video tweet. And so, because of that, you get to shout out. You know, and of course, the other shout out would go to uh, Nintendo Nintendo Channel Zone that uh, retweeted my video tweet on my reaction to the trailer. So, you know, of course, if you want to if you want to get shouted out in this little segment of Fake Leak Theater, you know, um, you know, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, like my video tweet, and of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all that kind of stuff to help the channel. And as always, people, keep it real.